thing. And then with your eyes closed, you're taking some deep breathing, big in-breath, big exhales, big sighs, larger breath, slower, more extensive, whatever you generally feel is going to shift you into this greater awareness of our practice of body and mind and breath. Keep doing it, so don't slack off, or become unaware of your deep breathing. Keep going deeper and deeper breath. And with the next layer, next big exhale with a sigh, let the breath out long and slow. And sitting quietly for a little while, aware of the breath, but not altering, changing it in any way. And when you take the next lightest breath, you hold in the breath for a little while. Three, five, ten, fifteen, as you please, seconds. When you breathe out, let the breath out long, slow, calm, calming. And take an easy in-breath with an easy big sigh following. So that at the end of that exhale, you can feel yourself shifting either for the first time or yet another time. In reality, each time when we take a large exhale, we shift, ready for the next inhale. Big in-breath, big exhale. And sitting like that with the body relaxed, exhale and the mind open to the movements of our postures, movements of next breaths in the postures. Sitting up a little bit more tall, a bit more upright, deeper breath, hold it in. Straighten the back up more, stretch the arms tighter and stronger, and you're not hard, but you exaggeratedly upright. Breathing in an exaggerated way through the nostrils, exhales in through the nose and you're holding the body clearly to you upright firm pointed uprightness and the next time you're there at the exhale you can breathe with a soft long sigh through the mouth and then from there we're taking the legs long forward point the toes down stretch your hands towards the feet or the ankles the shoulders are relaxed the head is heavy with the chin tucked in and you're relaxed in a way that you feel you're moving forward and loosening. And you could rock a small movement. Don't fidget though. Relax your shoulders. Easy side breath. Coming up to bring the feet to butterfly position. Big exhale. Now we're definitely making a large movement. Hip up, other hip up. Big exhales, loosening the back and the body in general. You can move the shoulders a little bit. And the hands are on the knees with the eyes that are closed. Big exhale, let the spine feel looser and more free. And then the crown goes up a little bit more and the shoulders are a bit more relaxed and you can slightly raise the chin. And then with the aid of the hands, you can slightly pull open the chest. So you can imagine a hand pushing the chest up from the back between your shoulder blades. 
with your eyes closed, clearly visualize an assisting of the back bend, chest open. It's you yourself pushing up into the open space with your attention on the throat chakra, attention on the third eye chakra. Feel air flowing into your body as you draw the breath in, tuning into the stream of life force, stream of consciousness coming into your body. With a large exhale powerfully through the nose, you're breathing out using the abdominal muscles. On the next inhale, you upright, and on the following exhale, you put the hands under the feet. You bring the head down towards the feet. And as you relax with the head coming down, your shoulders are softer, your head is heavier, and the shoulders are feeling looser. Like we've also loosened our body in energetically on the inside, using the breath. We've used our body and breath together to loosen the mind, thereby opening the mind. As you relax the body, you can also move it in a shaking way to the left or the right. Again, it's not the same as fidgeting, it's functional loosening. Let the head hang free and heavy with the head. So when we come upright from there, and the inhale, the legs are long to the front. And we're paddling the feet, one foot down in slow, super slow motion. And we're moving with the whole body as well. And as we move, we're also stretching the back, arms, shoulder joints coming loose. Biggest in, biggest sigh through the mouth. Sitting tall and upright, and you hold the one hand with the other. Not pulling yet, then you correct your uprightness, and then you start to pull gently, and you correct the shoulders, they should be hanging down, and the head points up. And you're looking with one pointed focus at the point of stretch of the wrist. And while you're looking at the wrist, you're feeling the forearm. While you feel the shoulders relax and the crown up, you're still looking at one point, the wrist. Feel the hands around the fingers, your hand around your fingers. Big exhale, relaxing to greater looseness, more uprightness. Change to the other arm, other hand. Crown up, relax the shoulders, take it way more easy. Big sigh, relax your shoulders a lot. Loosen there. Keep your one-pointed focus. You're aware of the hole and one spot. Pull a little bit harder. Big exhale. And then shake free the wrists. Big sigh. With a large exhale. We bring the feet to the legs crossed and the arms up next to the head. Eyes are open, your palms are open, your mind is open, your third eye is open. And you're breathing powerfully, deep, long and slow and strong breath. And you keep breathing more powerfully. And the breathing is stronger and the chest is more open. And you're breathing through the nostrils and you can feel that you're bringing up your body temperature. You're loosening the shoulders more and you're getting longer from the waist upwards. You're holding in the next deepest breath. You're reaching to the highest point above you. And you relax the neck somewhat or a lot. And you loosen slightly left to right. And when you bring the hands down, they're on the knees. And we're rubbing our palms, friction. And big circle. Feel the feet while you are rubbing the knees. Hold your body upright while you're rubbing the knees. With your eyes closed, feel all your internal awarenesses, feeling the body, the arms, the head, neck, and the shoulders, and the sit bones on the ground. You're breathing with the largest sigh sound, and you're rubbing a little harder with more friction. Cover a few more areas, and then when you take the next largest breath, you hold it in while you're rubbing. I'm going to rub a little bit more. It could be lighter if you want. You're still holding the breath and let the breath out. <sighs> Relax your shoulders while the movements are looser. With the palms open, sitting with the eyes closed, 
and connecting to feel that effect that we have when we, for instance, go for a quick walk or a brisk run. And we know we just want to shift our bodies and our minds into something else. We've been sitting for a long time, maybe. Or we just want to get out in space, open spaces. Feel all this practice happening on the mat in your one small section of a meter or so. All happening in your body. All your attention so much inwards. You're completely self-centered, centered in self. Big in, big exhale, feel you are the breather, you are the center, you're the body around the center. And you can just sit like that, warmed up, loosened up. And in that way, enlightened to that part of your being within. It's the light of your own life. You're going to bring the arms back up above the head and then switch to cross the legs the other way. You'll notice your movements getting easier over time, the time of a class and the time of your yoga career, your lifetime practice, large in, big exhale. Big sigh, relax your shoulders, and then with the palms open, you relax your shoulders a lot more. And you're sitting with a feeling of ease into yourself. You're easing into it, so there where it's hard, you're easing into that which is hard. And you with pointed focus, or sometimes shouldering your way a little bit, sometimes elbowing your way a bit, relax your shoulders. With your palms open, your eyes closed. Visualize your pointed focus to have this easy and powerful experience right now, but in general. Deep in-breath, big exhale, so that our in-general practice is what happens after the yoga class, before the next yoga class. Deepest in-breath, biggest exhale, relax with a sigh. And then this time we bring the one hand into you, resting into the other. We adjust our backs until it feels we're in some equilibrium. I mean, we're not falling forward. We're not relaxing so much that we collapse. We're not so tight that we can't relax. And you're observing the breath. And then changing into three large, long, slow, even paced, smooth breaths which lets you be even paced, large, focused, smooth, relaxed, You're taking on the quality of your breath. We always take on the quality of the energies around us and within us. And then feel motivated by that awareness, so that we live by awareness and motivation of awareness. Big in, big exhale, and it's a physical experience, it's not an abstract, but we can make sense of it in our heads as well. Largest in, biggest exhale. And then we're moving forward onto hands and knees. So our head's going forward, large exhale, and we're stretching the arms forward for dog stretch, chest towards the floor, you could put your forehead on the mat, the main aim is to squeeze the body towards the ground so you get a greater stretch between the shoulder blades, and the other main aim simultaneously, preceding everything that you don't overstretch, overdo it. So you don't compromise your body parts by pushing too hard on them. So you don't bully yourself to a stretch into the stretch. You don't coerce yourself either. You're doing it totally in harmony with your body and breath. Your practice is so that you're also going into your very deepest, best performance. 
So feel you putting on a show into yourself, into your own awareness, into your own inner performance. Yet there's no competition. It's you and your body parts for your well-being. It's the attitude. Now when you come up from there, we're sitting on our toes with the heels next to or in between the sit bones. Find a spot where it works for your heels and sit bones. Then with the eyes closed, you're sitting tall, upright, and with the head forward, slightly relaxed. At the back of the neck, it's a lengthening. And then feel that a large aspect, or maybe the entire aspect of healing is about awareness. We need to become aware of our symptoms. How do we feel when we eat what? Is the one side long and the other side feeling short? Am I extremely uncomfortable? What can I change? Is there an agitating sound? Does it go away? Am I agitated or am I just letting it go? Big exhale. Coming up to higher knees. And then the fingers interlaced at the back. You're observing the feet and the toes. Your eyes are closed. Your head is now tilted forward with the chin tucked in. And you're pulling firmly with the fingers interlaced, the shoulders to the back. So you're making a firm impression, lengthening the back of the neck. If you let the head tilt one side and the opposite shoulder goes to the back more, it's a very different stretch with a greater benefit. Same to the other side. To the center, the shoulders both back and the head down. Now notice your feet, the toes there where the circulation is flowing. After, release. Squeezing or squashing ourselves, there's greater circulation. Deeper in, bigger exhale. And releasing the arms altogether. And your head is facing forward and your gaze outside of the room, maybe out in the ocean. With your eyes closed with a big sigh, feel the ocean in your view a hundred odd meters away. Is not only on the inside, in your awareness, in your memory of it, and yet it's still there. Deep in breath, big exhale. So these shifts of perspective, and a noisy car with its alarm has gone away, it's now making a noise somewhere else. Take a large breath, hold the breath in. You're holding this breath now. Big exhale, and sitting on your heels, put a bit of weight on the hands, and then pinch the eyes tight, and squeeze the eyes shut, and make your face like a soft prune, not too pruney, just a little bit, and then make it very like tight prune, and then relax with your weight back onto the heels, and the arms straight, and your face, chill muscles relaxed, and you're breathing in a relaxed manner, with the whole body, aware of the nostrils, the forehead, the throat. They're also the throat chakra and also the third eye chakra. There are also body parts, two worlds, this, to name just two. Feel the energy in the breath, feel the body. Big sigh again. <sighs> Coming up to high knees and the arms up above the head. Rock left and right. So you put one knee up and the other knee. And the whole body moving, simple movements. Easy for all of us. If we have injuries, it's harder. If we don't have that leg functional at all, it's like kind of impossible. Big side breath. You're looking up with your hands. Or at your hands, you're stretching up and looking up. Deep breath, big exhale. Larger side breath, relax your shoulders. <sighs> then with the arms to shoulder height, with your eyes closed. The hands are extended outwards and the crown is pointing towards uh, the front of the room with the chin down. The back of the neck is longer. Deeper in, rock the body slightly left and slightly right. Big exhale. And then with the head balanced on top of the spine, you're looking forward. And you bring the hands to palms together above your head. 
then you bend the elbows a lot outwards and to the back. And then while you're in that position and your eyes are open, you can think about all the other asana practices, postures, breaths, bit of meditation we've been doing so far. Take a large in. Think about the tea in your stomach, lying there comfortably, warming you a bit, hydrating you with your eyes now closed. Feel the body energized, hydrated, just right for the yoga practice. On the next inhale, you straighten the arms up high. You lean slightly over to the right, feel your center of gravity under the hips, more at the root chakra on the knees. To the center, it's an inhale, exhale. Switch to the other side. Feel your center of gravity in the lower back, lower hips, root chakra, second chakra, and the knees, and they connect. Inhale, you upright with your hands to prayer in front of the chest with your eyes closed. Feel your fingers pointing at the crown chakra, your thumbs somewhere between the heart and the throat chakra, and your center of gravity on the knees. You're rocking forward and back, and the hands are in the classic uh, hands into prayer position of the child. Feel yourself more like a child than an adult. Big in-breath, hold the breath, big exhale. <sighs> Release the arms, tuck the toes under. And you're rocking to the left, you're rocking to the right. You're moving a little bit more, you're loosening a lot more, you're relaxing a lot more as you loosen the toes. You can hop the feet forward if you want to be a bit more vigorous. And you're shaking the legs into wiper feet. Feel yourself completely absorbed in your practice of awareness of the feet, in the looseness of the thighs. Then grip the thigh muscles. Make sure you've got a good grip on them and then move those thigh muscles around the, the bony muscle, uh, muscles around the bones. And when you move them, you'll see your kneecaps are moving and your feet should be going quite floppy. And if you do this practice vigorously, your heat will come up. So it's a vigorous arm movement. Big exhale. You're going as jelly as possible with those muscles. And it's an experiment in jelliness. Big sigh breath. Feet to butterfly. Largest in-breath, hold the breath, full of uh, life force, full of air compression. And then you become still, you're still holding the same breath, and you take a long, slow exhale, and you relax into the hip joints. Feel you are there where your lower center of gravity is. Feet, hips, and your lower back. And you're right on the ground, level zero a meter or so above sea level actually. Deep in breath, hold the breath, and just feel yourself holding your breath very much at sea level. We're just about the same level as the beach. We're sitting on a wooden floor. Visualize beach, sand, and sunrise. The beauty of the morning. Signs of traffic between us and the beach. Take a large in-breath, and yet in our mind and imagination, even direct connection, we connect to nature and the beauty of it. With a large sigh, exhale, relax your shoulders. Crossing the legs, stretching over to the side. Now we go to furthest over to the side stretch with your crown pointing the um, direction of the mountain. And you're reaching with your hand as if all the way over to the mountain. Feel that when we connect to the mountain in this way, in the beach in this way, in our bodies in this way. And ordinary life, the city and traffic. You start looking at it very differently. See that you've got both sit bones on the floor. You feel it. And then see that you're taking a deep breath as possible. Strong exhale. Inhale upright. We'll remain there for a brief while. Large and big exhale. Oxygenate your system through the lungs. And then notice your lungs becoming more similar. You had a side stretch, so they were different for a little while of the stretch.
siren goes past, it becomes quiet, we stretch over to the other side. And now your head's pointing at the sunrise. The sun is falling right into your crown. Top shoulder is back. Deep in breath. Your sit bones are both on the floor. So control the weight in your sit bones using both arms. You're stretching away from the mountain. And your right hip is pointing at the mountain. And your back to the ocean. Sorry, your front to the ocean. <laughs> well, Strictly speaking, Bloberg is behind you. Deep in breath, big exhale. And then all the way upright and inhale. With the palms open, you're sitting upright, you slightly press down the wrists on the knees and feel those bony points of your knees and the bony points of your wrists and you're pushing up from there with the crown up, connecting to the bones of your spine, vertebra, relax your shoulders and adjust your skeleton so that you can sit upright completely properly, upright and easy and feel this physicality and centeredness, easy breath in, biggest art. <sighs> And then while you're sitting like that, realize that in your meditation you're aware of a moment or maybe a continued stream of moments where you suddenly realize who you are or what you are. In this case, I was suggesting you're a skeleton, muscles. In the beginning we were just sitting in awareness of being alive and breathing. And sometimes we find ourselves in the day when we suddenly realize like six hours have passed, I didn't breathe, I wasn't aware of my skeleton. And then you can have a different moment, it's like an aha moment. How could I forget for six hours who I am? Or six days or 60 years? Take the largest breath, you're holding the breath. How long can I hold the breath easily? What does it feel like in my bones? Am I tightening up or am I loosening up doing this practice? It's nor good nor here nor there nor bad, it just is. You're watching, observing it. With a big exhale sigh, the system will loosen. You change the legs to the other combination. And we're just sitting with the arms outstretched into the fingertips with the back of the neck long and the crown up. Feel yourself horizon to horizon, connecting to the horizon around us. We're sitting on top of the horizon. We're sitting in the horizon. We're on planet Earth level. Heavens above us. And strictly speaking, the heavens below us, under the Earth as well. The Earth, whether it's flat or round, it's in some space. Deep in-breath, big exhale. Relax your shoulders and feel for that matter, the earth might as well have been square or a triangle. We're still sitting on it. Take a large breath. Hold the breath. Feel the body. And that's the only reality at this moment that's mattering. Feel the chest. You're open and your arms to the sides. It doesn't even have to be horizontal. You're holding them stretched out. Take a large breath on top of the breath that you have. So it's like maybe double size breath now. And then a slow, long exhale. Push the arms further to the back. And then you clasp the fingers to the back and you're rocking to the left and the right. And we are loosening. We are loosening and we are moving. And the head is hanging forward and the movement is looser and looser. And we've already been busy for half an hour loosening. And we're still loosening up more. Big exhale. Relax. Shake the arms free. Legs long forward. Now the legs are floppy and the hands are to the back and the chest is open to the back. And you're lifting the chest up and your face is up towards the ceiling, maybe parallel with the ceiling, but not more than parallel. And then connecting to where the collarbones are, your collarbones. And feel the bones of your ankles and the feet flopping outwards and the shoulders to the back. 
If you move slightly left and right, you'll notice your flexibility of the upper body. Now feel that helping hand. It's a hand of awareness. It's helping us to be aware of our back bend. And visualize a beautiful, open third eye. Beautiful because it's not gunky. Beautiful because it's crystal clear. Because crystal clear is beautiful. Deepest in-breath. Feel the heart space. Loving and light. We talk about that old expression. Old from the New Age times. 1990s. Love and light. Feel the heart space open to that. It's also why we practice our yoga. Opening the heart and the mind. Third eye and heart chakra. So you want warm light like sunrise. Big exhale. Relax your shoulders. Sitting upright, you keep the feet and legs in the same place, but bring firmness to your feet, pointing the toes at yourself. With the crown up and the chin slightly down in your hands, with a soft grip, just ahead of the knees, around the knees where the legs begin, relax your shoulders, easy soft body, back of the neck long, chin tucked in, and your head is hanging forward. And you can shake the body free a little bit there. Big easy and big easy arts. fingertips onto the big toes. It may be easy, or you may feel you need to bend the knees before it gets easy. Once you're there, see if your hamstrings and so become more supple, so it gets easier. And connect into, not for being miserable about it, but feel the part that's really hard, that's maybe not stretching at all. And where you're feeling, oh, that's too tight there. Release that area a little bit until it feels more comfortable. So it may mean bending the knees, may mean lifting the head but relaxing the shoulders. And give it a bit of slack. Cut yourself some slack, that's what the expression means. And straighten the legs again or wherever you could or couldn't just now. And don't go deeper, but rather go higher up. If you can, you can then put the hands to start to touch the pads of your feet. And feel the interesting feeling, interesting fingers on the feet, soles of the feet. Relax your shoulders though. Let the head hang forward a little bit. Deeper in, bigger exhale, relax to the left and to the right. Feel the shoulders looser, bless you. Big exhale. With the head heavy, with the hands maybe touching the soft center of your feet. Right in the soft center. It's just under the front pad. To the center of the arch. Become aware of your arch step and the arch of your feet. Become aware of the heels and then the hard bit, the Achilles area to the ground. Maybe your knees are on the floor as well. Feel the lower back. Let the head hang down. Shake the head so the neck is looser. And rolling up on the inhale. Let the legs go floppy feet. Shoulders to the back. Your head is hanging forward. Big sigh. And then with the feet coming towards your thighs, heels, into the sit bone region. You can lift up onto the fingertips so we make an adjusted squat. So unless your knee gives you a lot of hassle, everyone here should be able to do it. Big exhale. And then you like that. I like our two neat rows here. Big in, big exhale. With the head down, with the chin tucked in, you rock a bit left and right. And feel what you can and what you can't. And as I said earlier, carefully consider what you're doing with your knees. If your body parts are screaming at you, or in a very subtle way saying, no, don't do that, then listen. Hang upside down there. Big exhale. So your head is hanging down, crown to the ground. And with the head hanging heavy, big exhale. Close your eyes. Feel the head heavy. Big sigh breath. As you relax a little bit more with a bigger sigh breath, the body is softer and looser. 
And when you bend the knees, you put your hands on the knees. So we're resting halfway up, not all the way down. Big exhale. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders with the head heavy. Roll up all the way on the inhale. And then bringing your fingertips together and the feet almost together. And then thinking of the shape of your feet, the shape of your head, and then think specifically of those bony round bits of your ankles pointing towards each other. With your eyes closed, feel the tips of your fingers that are slightly rounded like the head. And then just wriggle the knees a few times so you can feel the thigh muscles and the long thigh bones in them, bringing the hands to prayer front of the chest. And then thinking of yourself not as a child but as an adult standing in prayer. I don't even know where that idea came from, but it's quite an interesting one. Thinking of ourselves as children and adults at the same time. Take a large breath, big in, big exhale. Relax your shoulders a little bit more. Feel more childlike, informed by the adult as well. So we become a nice blend of innocence and experience. Take a large breath, hold it in. Chest open, body a bit more open. Big exhale, relax your shoulders. And having gratitude for that space, a beautiful space of innocence and experience. Take a large breath, hold it in. And hold the space for yourself. Hold the body a little bit more firm. Move the hands slightly forward and the elbows up. And then bring muscle tone into the equation and the crown up and the back of the neck long. You're aware of your posture. Powerful breath in, big exhale. And when you bring the hands down, the palms are open. You put the right foot a little bit forward and the other foot upside down. And you're stretching the back foot and the back of the neck is long. And the crown is lifting and you're sinking lower down. Large exhale. You may stretch massively at the back, like as in low down. Or perhaps because your body is feeling quite tight somewhere, or your ankle. You're stretching massively, but you're not so low down. Stretch the palms further to the back and the fingers more open. And then the bending thigh that you've got your weight on. That muscle there that you've loosened, it's now working hard for you. And your lower back's got a slight arch and the body is open. And you come upright on the inhale and your hands are on the thighs. Big sigh breath. We'll do the same to the other side. Just now, just contemplate how you're feeling in the body and why we're doing this practice. There are many reasons. I've got some. You've got some. Change your feet the other way. Palms open and feel that you're stretching into your body capacity, your ability to exercise and feel. Feeling your body in life. Chest open, crown up, and you're sinking lower down. Definitely an exercise, definitely in pra a practice of awareness. Crown up, shoulders down. Sink into the awareness, exercise. You're getting stronger, fitter, more capable, more able. Go for it, stretch the palms, the fingers open, stretch lower down. And then up on the inhale, with the hands on the thighs, with your eyes closed, standing in our meditation, and we also having also at the same time contemplation. Why am I standing here now in this room in the yoga studio? Take a large breath, big exhale. We're just standing to experience the breath. We're just standing to experience our feet on the ground. And this awareness becoming a counterpoint to when we're in our heads, our emotions, not in the body, or when we are. In other words, wherever you are later. Take a large in-breath, big exhale. Big in-breath, big sigh. 
Wait till your right foot and you hold up the other leg behind you and the free arm comes up next to your head. You're also stretching the fingers, but this time directly up into the sky. Stand with your one leg directly into the earth. You're reaching from earth to sky. At the same time, sky is reaching into us, into earth. And feel the body is actually a living space on sea level for us. Between earth and sky, deep in breath, big exhale. You're standing like this, visualize some beautiful nature scene, mountains, ocean, sunrise, just like we have here out in the bay. Take a large breath, reach up into the hand. And open the palm to the front and you're reaching into your stretch, into life. Take a large breath, big exhale. And push the shoulders a bit down and to the back and see where the neck may relax. So when you bring the arm down, you're still holding the foot. And when you take both feet to the floor, you stand just for a few moments quietly, eyes closed. Light sigh. When you open the eyes, we shift the weight to the other leg. You grab a hold of the foot. Bring the arm up next to your head. Reach up into the hand. Breathe. Reach and breathe. Chest open. And feel now as we progress through the session. Your whole body becoming more and more enabled. Your focus comes and goes always. We're always practicing. In our awareness, in this breath, large in, big exhale. Reach to the highest, into the sky. Receive into the earth, the sky. You're also pushing up from the ground, upwards. Shoulders are down to the back, back of the neck is long, and you'll find relaxation for the neck there. And when you bring the hand on, you maintain the foot in your hand, the other foot, or other hand and foot. Relax your shoulders, release the foot. Feet a little wider than your hips, so about the width of your yoga mat. Relax the arms and sink low down, like a soft chair pose. And then make sure the arches of your feet are strong, and make sure you're aware of all the toes, and how the arch step of your feet are also on the ground. So the arches are slightly raised and the hips are loose. Low center of gravity. Maybe put your hands like that. Relax your shoulders and then slightly push down. Slightly push up the crown. And then have the idea or sensation that when you push down in the counter and you push yourself up that you actually get longer. Relax your shoulders. And I like to do that practice because it's the same as a driving position. You could sit and drive like that and your crown pushes up and you actually quite relax. You're sitting lightly. You can sit like that at your desk as well. Deep in breath, big exhale. Push the hands a little bit down. So I always call it finishing school practices. In the Victorian times, if you were uh, in a sort of a elitist school or something, you would learn how to have good posture and display yourself. If you were a woman, you were supposed to display yourself. Big exhale, relax your shoulders. With your eyes closed, feel that what you're displaying is you and your being in your body, so it's not for others' benefits, but for the benefit of your back, your spine, your hips. Sink lower down. And on some level, you influence other people with your good posture, because they will notice it probably. Big exhale. And then bringing the arms easily up above the head, but sink lower down so it becomes more exercise again. But also more relaxedness in the hips. Light side becomes maybe a bit of a challenge. And you can bounce a few times there, then lift the heels off the floor. So more thigh exercise, more toe awareness. Standing up tall, keep the arms, but shake out the leg, foot, knee, other one. 
keep the arms there then move the shoulders to the back in a circle with the elbows and arms then changing to forward and plant the feet and move a rapid small fastish movement with the shoulders deeper breath in bigger art a little faster a little faster smaller faster but looser be sure you know exactly where you are with your hips and your feet feet are exactly parallel check if you're not sure and check that your toes are gripping if you're not sure feel change to the back large circle relax the arms and the hands are relaxed and the knees are just unlocked with some strength and bounciness in the thighs with your eyes closed big exhale feel yourself attuned to earth earth level if we're standing a meter above the ground and then our shoulders will be like another meter so feel yourself in terms of centimeters space vantage point your vantage point is also in your thighs the muscle around the long thigh bone and the hips and the root chakra connecting to the earth visualize the mountain ocean and the bay sunrise earth this is also the tar road outside it's also the cars driving up and down deep in big exhale stretching forward with the hands flat on the back easy table back of the neck long chin tucked in crown pointing forward and feel an absolutely straight line from your crown chakra to the root chakra which is now effectively pointing horizontally behind you away from the crown so the whole body horizontal and then stretch the legs as straight as you can the back as flat as possible shoulders far back chin slightly tucked in and there we can practice abdominal lift so easy posture but more advanced practice of sucking the belly up to the spine on the exhale it brings the chin down slightly you're holding the exhale and you're massaging the abdomen for health breathe in and out a normal way on the next exhale you fold double bend exhale with a big sigh going ha and if you want a big sigh ha sound then up to the hands to the knees wriggle the back free and we'll do another abdominal lift there take a large inhale biggest breath lots of air lots of emptiness now exhale belly to the spine and then move the hips and the belly and the shoulders and everything so you can clearly feel you massaging yourself inside the belly midriff region all the way upright in the inhale big exhale in your hands fingers spread over the belly and the feet are there together with your eyes closed take a large breath feel under your palms the body and feel interestingly enough as you take a large inhale feel the lungs connecting to the hands to the belly because it's part of the same body but also you're feeling via the arms so it's quite simple at the same time it can become quite weird when you think about it because you're thinking about it largest breath lift the body into a slight arch back bend chest open shoulders down and then feel the midriff organs open and your hands now more or less at the stomach third chakra which is where the T that you had in the beginning of the class went straight into take a large breath feel the belly under the third chakra above it the heart chakra feel yourself standing on your two feet raise the arms up next to the head reach up into the hands and I'm just turning around for you you bringing up your right hand a bit more other hand between the shoulder blades and then both hands pointing at each other or if you can you can grip the one hand with the other big exhale back of the neck long chin tucked in your elbow up high you can modify the practice in which any way is necessary feel that the weight is spread on the two feet with the eyes closed standing in silence your quietness for a little while breathe if you must if you don't feel like it don't 
spread your weight, adjust, or be still. And feel the stretch improve, increase, deepen. The deeper you sleep, the deeper you go into it. The deeper you stretch, the more you go into that space. Release to both hands up above, big exhale. Change to the other hand combination. And just make sure that you're doing the same on this side as the previous side. So if it's much harder, you have to really go for it without hurting. If it's easier, give some slack and don't do more because it's easy. Do less because it's easier. So that way we bring balance. Feel that that is what balance is. If you work too hard, you rest more. If you rest too much, you must work more. Maybe, maybe not. Deep in-breath, big exhale. See if you can align the back with the weight on the hips. Equally spread on the feet. Deepest breath, biggest art, big exhale. And then release soft shoulders. I think they're having National Siren Day over there. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so what I uh, want to say, so if in terms of the exactness of how you use your body, it's up to you to decide, do I want to be like sloppy or not, you know, so, you know, like, you know, we look at somebody that's very really sloppy and we go, oh, that person's very really sloppy. It can be quite a judgmental thing as well. Especially if you're tidy and you look at somebody sloppy, you know, like you have that. I'm speaking for myself and I want to put it on your bits. We have those kind of things. But anyway, the, so when we look at our own body, that same way as well. So we, we have to look with compassion, which is why I said that as well, because people are different. So people have different constitutions. And some people are constitutionally sloppy. And then you can't really judge it because it's like saying the mountain's ugly or something, which it may or may not be. So either way, our feet are like collapsing or not. Okay, so when we, if your one foot collapses just a little bit, then the way that your, you carry your hips and your back will completely change. So just experience that. So that's also why we did that whole practice, amongst other things. So if you stand with your arches both raised, and you drop the one arch where you did it collapse, you'll feel your knee changes as well. So you'll see a lot of people with one knock knee, and you'll also see like a huge amount of people walking around with two knock knees. So... I'm not making fun of anyone, but if you walk like that, then somewhere there's something in your structure that's really wonky. So we think we tend to think we're born like that. So that's like I've got brown eyes, so it's it's be quite hard for me to change the color of my eyes using meditation. It may not be impossible, but it'll be that's you know it's like a different level. Likewise, it can be quite hard to change your knock knee, for instance, but by just rolling the feet outwards, you're starting to make a shift. So what you'll feel is you roll the feet out and the knees go out is like the arches are raised and that seems unnatural because we're not supposed to look like that either and then there's a center point between the two extremes basically so when you bring your hands there and then these things are all interesting for me when we bring ourselves to standing upright with hands in prayer and we're standing somewhere between a child and an adult because we kind of both take a large in and out You'll feel that you can shift your weight onto both feet, onto the art step, and soften the knees and everything so that suddenly you're in alignment and everything's just perfect and you're no longer bent or out of shape. And you're not too adult and you're not too childish. And you kind of can move between those spaces and that's very much what it's about. Take a large in, big exhale. And then you put your right foot forward. And then when you do T-balance in that position, You'll see why it's, in terms of our yoga pose, actually important to get that right. Because it's be quite hard to balance if some part isn't working. Feel clearly how it's like for you there. So when you change to the other leg, that you can see if this hip is easier or harder. 
and if this is easier always then it means you must exercise more on the other leg or find out whether it's your hip, your foot or your ankle, this will be one of the three that's giving you a hard time to balance, come upright just check if the two sides were the same you can stay there and then if the other side was harder then go to the harder side if the side you've just done was harder to balance then do that side again it could also be a, a mental thing sometimes we just can't do the one leg deep in big exhale and then you would have brought some small degree of balance or maybe a lot hang forward upside down big exhale shake the head free shake it loose relax head heavy bend the knees to uh, go on the back onto a shoulder stand if you feel like the shoulder stand else you can do a half bridge else just lie on the back shoulder stand if possible your best shoulder stand your best half bridge your best lying down it's the only important qualification And feel by now, like when we started, it takes a little while and then the blood flows in ways it hasn't been flowing. And then you roll down to the ground and you on the back on the ground. Big easy exhale. Feet are to the floor, knees are bent and we're reaching into the end of the session. Big exhale, then with the legs long. Take a large breath in, big art. Take yourself into gravity on the ground level there. Where you are, big exhale. And with a large sigh, like a sounding sound. Sounding sigh. The sigh, like the exhale, assists us to relax. Sound of the singing bowl. Assists us to just put our attention on one thing, one place. You heard the ringing and the scratchiness and the resonance. And take the largest breath and let the breath in and exhale resonate with your whole being. And then turning the palms open and the feet are floppy, think again of the thigh muscles and the thigh bones in there. Feel the shoulders relaxed, bring your attention to the root chakra and the arches of your feet and how when we relax in this Savasana Yoga Corpse Pose we go into a deep state of release so that our body aligns with our being which is that part that we started breathing into with large breaths bringing that awareness up in our awareness which is our consciousness, take a large in, feel yourself, body and mind, conscious of you, spirit in you, life force in you, big exhale, feel yourself aligned in that way, but also as we finish off, working towards alignment of our left and right sides, so that we're not skew in unawareness, that we're not uncomfortable in our asymmetry, 
and we also accept the way we are, but at the same time know that we can change, not having to do impossible things, changing, but small, incremental bits here and there. Always at it, take a large breath, maintenance as well, always at it, big exhale. Then with the feet to the floor, slowly take a gentle hug, quietly carrying on with meditation and relaxation, quietly hugging the knees. Slowly sitting upright when you're ready, in the next little while, inhale, sitting upright in easy sitting upright meditation. Big exhale. Shoulders are relaxed, crown is up. Feel that part of your being that's childlike. Give it some play time. And feel that part of you that's adult, that's how it is. It's not not so. Same, likewise, feel the body at ease like this, the way it is. Relax into how we are. Easy and easy, soft sigh, exhale. <sighs> And then as if we're doing the three Om sounds, so when I s hit the gong, strike the gong, think of the Om sound. So we connect into vibration and sound in your mind's eye, doing the Om sound. Definitely Siren Convention Day. And the largest in with a big sigh, like we do when we practice the Om. Feeling the settling quietness. And then changing to the last, uh, third big gong sound. And listening to the resonant sound of the silence of the Om, the silent Om. And slowly opening the eyes, and thank you.